I'm James Orga. He's, J he's Jimmy Loazzo, uh, and together we are Orga Loazzo. Uh, we've been uh, collaborating for nearly 10 years now. We met at the Royal College of Art, uh, and really the, the premise behind the bulk of the projects that we do is questioning technology. So we use design as a medium to do that. This is a device that uh, we're all familiar with it. Uh, a lot of us end up in one. But what this does is it harnesses our uh, chemical potential once we die. Uh, when we die, we are chemically disorganized. But what we do is we harness the uh, chemical potential of uh, somebody who's died and we turn them into a battery. During the process of decompo decomposition, uh, acids are produced and underneath here is a microbial fuel cell that through an electrochemical uh, reaction creates electricity. So it's, it's, it's all the body. Any living cell produces acid as it decomposes. With this you have a, something that has a function. It's, as Jimmy said, it's, it's, it's a form of life after death. And so as we're contained within this battery, what we do with that battery becomes extremely poignant. Um, and to make that point, to, to really communicate that, what we've done is invited uh, 13 or 14 people to propose what they would like to do with the battery. Some of the, some of the, the ideas are, are kind of fairly obvious, such as the, the vibrator there. A lot of people have said they'd like to continue somehow loving or pleasing their partner after they go. But some other ones are extremely subtle. So this is uh, Onka Kula, he's a designer in London. And he's thought about the things that he might regret. So when he dies, there are a certain number of things that he'd have liked to have done in his life. And he would like the battery to, to, to help him experience those things. So in his last will and tes testament, he has got a series of rules that the executor of the will has to do for him. So he makes sure that the battery is used in these certain ways. So for example, he used to go and watch Huddersfield Town Football Club. It's a, team, it's a, it's a football team in the UK. Uh, and the afterlife, I'll read it out, the afterlife battery should be placed in a battery operated megaphone. The executor of my last will and testament should attend the Huddersfield Town AFC Football League match and using the megaphone repeat the following phrase, Terry Curran is a wanker, <laughs> ten times or until he is thrown out by an official steward. And this links back to a memory he had when he was seven. There's a whole bunch of these, so it's extremely personal for him. It's, it's extremely meaningful that the battery is somehow continuing his existence after he goes. The operation that my wife suggested for me uh, is based on the fact that our our relationship now, after 10 years, we are able to say things that we would not be able to say at the beginning of a relationship. And it's a proof of, uh, it's proof that we are comfortable with each other in the relationship. So I sometimes tell her in the morning that her breath smells. So she would suggest that I would go into uh, an electric toothbrush that could be used on perhaps just on anniversaries and birthdays and Christmas and uh, other days that she would want to remember me. <laughs> We've had mixed reactions from people. Some people are repulsed by the idea of it, but a lot of people are willing to kind of engage with the idea. As soon as we mention the, uh, the family tree and the lineage back to the Big Bang and the future potential uh, of the individual in a chemical state, then it's the project is quite optimistic. Mm -hmm. So we've had s some negative responses, but with a bit of explanation, they're, they're actually quite keen. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. Start from great looking templates or build your own. Just enter in promo code YDM to get 12% off the life of your order.